video is for Jenny. It is a lace braid technique. This braiding technique does not show you how to create a form or a shape on the head. It's a freestyle way of braiding and it involves French braiding, Dutch braiding, mostly lace braiding. It is a technique that you can do whatever you want. It involves people's auras, faces, personalities, spunk, creativity. It's not about symmetry. It's not about precision. It's about free form, freestyle, free braiding, flowing, lovey, hippie beauty. So you start anywhere on the head, back, bottom, front, side, and you just start braiding. Typically it is lace braiding which involves gathering pieces of hair into one side of the braid only. Because this type of braiding, this braiding technique, um, has some fun spunk to it, we're going to flip the braid. So after gathering in a, a few sections, just flip the braid. How do you flip it? Just flip it. Where do you flip it? Just flip it. It's just flipping for absolutely no reason. Once you flip a braid, it goes from French to Dutch. Unless you start a Dutch, if you start a Dutch, then it goes from Dutch to French. So if you flip it, you need to do the opposite of what you were doing. If you were doing French, then, then Dutch it, Dutch lace it. Uh, the flipping causes movement. It causes the braid to spin and twist and move in a free-flowing, fashionable, fun, spastic way. This is not a creation of specifics. This is random chaos. So lace one side, lace the other side, take the hair from anywhere on the head. There is no way to actually teach this. This is something that you do. You create. You grab a head and you just start braiding and twisting and lacing and, and gathering from the front and gathering from the back and gathering tight and then gathering loose and, and just letting your creativity flow. In the middle of it, you just flip the braid and then gather into another side and dutch it and then French it and then flip it and lace it and, and uh, gather in both sides, gather, gather in only one side again. And, and it's a cosmic chaos, random beauty, creative process. There are no degrees or angles that you must turn or flip. There are no places that you must gather from. This is a free-for-all loving braid thing. Um, so to, to specify uh, what would need to be done to create this needs to be pretty loose, both in the verbiage that you're using, the, the techniques that you're using, uh, how you're teaching it. Um, there is nothing solid. There's nothing set. There is nothing uh, right. There's nothing wrong. So, as you can see, this braid is creating um, movement. It's, it's curving back and forth. It's gathering from the front and back. The braid's flipping randomly for absolutely no reason because it's beautiful. It causes bends and twists. And then when you're done with that, you're either left with this braid that you then can mold into a shape on the top of the head, on the back of the head, on the side of the head, as you wish, or as the client wishes. This is not specific. This is not something that I would personally say that you're going to go into it knowing what you're doing. Instead, I would say you're going to go into it with somebody who doesn't want the usual braid, who wants something different and interesting, and then you're going to look at their face, their clothes, their hair, and you're just going to start braiding randomly. So hopefully that helps clarify and helps make sense. Sorry about the bird in the background, but 
they get excited when I start talking. <laughs> um, and uh, just understand that there is no right or wrong. Um, it, I would say go with the messiness of it. The only way to really understand what you're going to do with this braid is to have people who want to be creative let you who want you to be creative on their hair and who don't like traditional braiding styles or techniques so find some crazy hippie girl who loves freestyle braiding and just start braiding and find several people do something different on each person and slowly you will develop a style with this that feels right to you um, unfortunately a lot of people who are learning how to braid like to be told exactly what to do, but this is not an exactly what to do kind of braiding technique. Um, this is this is just different. <laughs> Hopefully that explains everything, and uh, I would love to see some of your styles. Find some people, do some braids, make something funky, make something beautiful. Take a video of it, take a photo of it, come to my face grip. Facebook group and post because this is the kind of thing that that uh, no two people will make the same creation and no two people will start in the same spot or end in the same spot and well certainly we all know that no two people have the same hair <laughs> so uh, it, it will always look different and it will always be creative so so get your mojo on and uh groove some funky braids for me and come to my group on Facebook and post photos, post some videos. I would absolutely love to see what you create from this. So this video is for Jenny. Um, she's interested in this type of braiding. And Jenny, I am interested in what you create. So send me some photos, even if you just email them. I would absolutely love to see.